Heftigt. Spring. Doesn't feel like spring. These fields are colder now than they were in winter. Hands all swollen, fingers fat and red. Unless I just wasn't feeling the cold this much in winter. I don't think about the cold. Work quickly, carefully mind. Don't hack at it. Let the knife do the work. And don't think about the cold. Pin the lamb down flat on its back, legs in the air, around all fours, legs. I knife circles, skin deep. I pinch the skin under the lamb's throat and stab into it. Making sure I don't hit any veins and squirt blood everywhere, like I did the last time. I glide the knife through the skin, covering the lamb's little belly, all the way from throat to arse. Down there, at the arse end, the knife slips, hacks a chunk of skin out of my finger. The blood runs warm. I suck the blood and shove my hand under my armpit. The blood tastes of metal and rust. The gash clots a bit. Just the bark. That's what they say. Just took the bark off. Back to the opening, running from throat to arse. From here, I slide the knife up through the flesh on the inside of each leg, all the way up to the skin-deep circles I made first. Finally, I cut a ring in the skin right around the lamb's neck. I put my knife down. With both hands, I pull the skin away from the lamb's body. Quickly, carefully mind. I stand on it, front legs, digging with my boot for a better grip. I'm peeling the skin off more easily now. Tears, clicks, the velcro sounds as the skin comes unstuck from flesh in one neat piece. The poor little bugger looks tiny without its jumper on. The ewe stands to clean the newborn lamb with her tongue. I move closer, shining my flashlight. From her rear, the ewe is busy giving birth to the second lamb. I can see the head coming out, positioned between its two front feet. I crouch down for a better look. The front legs are out now, and I can see the back legs, all wrapped in membrane. The lamb squelches on the grass. The ewe turns to clean off the membrane, the mucus. She knows to start with the membrane covering the lamb's mouth. A wise old ewe. She does this well. The second newborn lamb bleats. I move a bit closer. The ewe keeps on cleaning the second newborn lamb, but she ignores the first. I watch a while and then move towards the first lamb, pick it up and put it down in front of the ewe. Now I whistle bunk over to intimidate the ewe, get her maternal instincts going. She's frightened. She shields the second lamb, but not the first. I call bunk off and go to my trailer, fetch my bag. From my bag I take used coffee grounds and rub some around the lamb's backside. I rub used coffee grounds up the ewe's nose, one nostril, the other. I pick up the first lamb and put it down right in front of the ewe's nose. Now, Ah, she's a wise old ewe and doesn't fall for this either. I need to make a decision. <laughs>